Hi, I am B. Janardhan Reddy. In this video, I am going to explain how the resistance of a conductor vary with its length. To show how the resistance of a conductor depends on its length, I will do an activity to understand it. So, length of the conductor and resistance. How the resistance of a conductor vary with its length that we are going to see in this video. Okay? Here is the activity. Activity to show the resistance of a conductor depends on the length of the conductor. The material required in doing this activity, here I am showing you, dry cell, connecting wires, switch, iron spokes of different lengths, ammeter, and you can see the material also, dry cell, connecting wire, switch, and these are the iron spokes of different lengths. Iron rods or iron spokes of different lengths and all these iron spokes have the same cross-sectional area. That means their cross-sectional areas are same but their lengths are different. Say its length is 10 centimeters, 20, 30, 40 like this. This is an ammeter which measures the current in milliamperes in the circuit. Okay? Now I will make a circuit here. This is a dry cell. Here is the switch ammeter. So, here I have made a circuit and ammeter is connected in series and it measures current in milliamperes. And in this circuit, I have left some gap here. In this gap, I am going to place iron spokes of different lengths having the same cross-sectional areas. Say, first I will place the iron spoke of 10 centimeter length in this gap. Then I will turn the switch on and measure the current, how much current flows in the circuit. See here. Say, this is the iron spoke of 10 centimeter length. Now, I am filling this gap by this iron spoke. Now, turn the switch on. See here. Now, current is flowing in the circuit. Then, we can see how much current flows in the circuit when 10 centimeter length iron spoke is connected in this gap. So, here 400 50 milliamperes current is flowing in the circuit now. So, when 10 centimeter length iron spoke is connected in this gap, 450 milliamps current is flowing. So, let us note down these values in a table here. Serial number, length of the iron spoke, current in milliampere. Serial number 1. So, the length is 10 centimeters and the current flowing in the circuit is 450 milliamperes. Okay? Now, now I am going to fill this gap by the iron spoke of different length, say 20 centimeters. See here. Now, this gap is filled with the iron spoke of 20 centimeter length. Now, turn the switch on. Let us turn the switch on. See here. Now, some current is flowing in the circuit. So, 
you can see how much current is flowing in the circuit means here 230 milliamperes current is flowing previously when 10 centimeter length conductor or iron spoke is connected between the gap in this gap at that time 450 milliamperes current was flowing now 230 milliamperes current is flowing now so let us note down these values in the table so when 20 centimeter length of iron spoke is connected current in the circuit is 230 milliamperes Now I will place the iron spoke of different length say 10, 30 centimeter in this gap. Then I will see how much current flows in the circuit. Turn the switch on. Now 150 milliamperes current is flowing in the circuit when 30 centimeter length iron spoke is connected in this gap so we can notice one thing when the length of the iron spoke is increasing the current in the circuit is gradually decreasing current is decreasing means the resistance increasing okay so let us note down these values in this table serial number 3 30 centimeters length of the iron spoke is 30 centimeters and the current in the circuit is 150 milliamps now let us connect in this gap 40 centimeter length iron spoke switch on the circuit so here you can see 110 milliamperes current is flowing in this circuit that means when the length of the iron spoke is increasing the current in the circuit is gradually decreasing current decreasing means the resistance of the iron spoke is increasing so when the length increases resistance also increases so let us note down these values in the table so when 40 centimeter length iron spoke is connected in the gap the current in the circuit is 110 milliamperes okay here we can draw the conclusion from this activity the resistance of each spoke increases with increase in the length for a constant potential difference that means the resistance of a conductor increases with increase in the length of the conductor and the resistance or of a conductor is directly proportional to its length for a constant potential difference Okay, thank you.